Hey, ministry leader, Rich Brown here from Next Gen Matters. I'm sure your heart's desire is just like mine, and that is to be strong, to stay strong, and to finish strong. So how do we do that? I know for me personally, I've added a lot of tools to my toolbox this year in 2023. Lots of webcasts, daily podcasts. I've been buying courses online, and of course, there's nothing like reading books. So yeah, one of the many steps I've taken is to create a list of 24 books so I can be highly intentional in self-development, professional development. So of course, I've ordered a lot of new books on Amazon because there's nothing like new books, right? But at the same time, I thought, I've got my library. So the other day, I'm out looking for some of these books and I pulled this book out. It's called Finishing Strong, Finishing Strong. And this wasn't my book. It was my father's, but with his passing a few years ago, a lot of those things came my way. So I opened this book and I read this at the beginning. This is given to my dad from a dear pastor friend of his. And actually this gentleman, Paul Salehammer, was a dear mentor to my own brother. Matter of fact, his closest confidant and mentor for 30 years. Well, Paul gave this book to my dad back in 1997. He wrote this. I had never seen this until just a few weeks ago. Among a few of the personal things he shared with dad, he said, Dick, let's pray for each other and keep each other accountable to, and then these words are underlined, to finish strong. And he signed off with his verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. So what can you do to be strong, to stay strong, and to finish strong? You know, here at Next Gen Matters, this is what we're about, is how can we help you do such a thing as to be strong, stay strong, and finish strong? But one tool you can add to your toolbox this year in 2023 is our cohort called Sustainable. We ran this cohort last year three separate times. Great feedback from those who went through it. We thought this year we're gonna offer it in February and in March. How can we help you have a sustainable life, sustainable doctrine, sustainable calling, and be sustainable in those ministry relationships? You know, my dad went home to be with the Lord a few years ago. And it's crazy because Pastor Paul just passed away about five, six months ago. They both finished strong. They both went from this life into eternity, finishing strong. That's my heart's cry, what about yours? Again, look at this cohort. It's on the website, nextgenmatters.com. It's not the only thing to help you grow, but I guarantee you, it will help you grow. So take a hard look at it, and I hope you'll join us for Sustainable.